Hello! Let's dive into the Microsoft Sentinel deployment. There are a few things you'll need. First, make sure you have an active Azure subscription. If you don't have one, you can sign up for a free trial at azure.com. You also need the necessary permissions to create resource groups in Azure. Typically, you need to be an owner or contributor on a subscription level. I have an Azure subscription ready to go along with a pre-created resource group that we'll use for the Log Analytic workspace and Sentinel instance. It's good practice to create a brand new resource group to keep everything organized and separate. Our next step is to search for Log Analytic workspace in the top search bar in Azure. Click on the Create button to set up a new instance. From here, Select the resource group you want to use to host the Log Analytic workspace, give it a name, and choose a region. Ideally, you want to keep the same region you are using for the resource group to avoid any issues down the line. You can also create tags if you are using them. After the initial validation passes, click on the Create button. After a minute or two, the deployment will be completed and you can access your newly created resource. The role of the Log Analytic workspace is straightforward. It will host the data that you can then query in Microsoft Sentinel. Any new data connectors added will be visible as tables in the Log Analytic workspace. As you can see, I don't have many of them yet, since this is a newly created instance, but that will change over time. If you plan to use Sentinel, I highly recommend increasing your default workspace retention from 30 days to 90 days as a base minimum. This will greatly help your team to investigate incidents and check incident logs. To do this, access usage and estimated cost and adjust the slider for the data retention. Now we are ready to create the Sentinel instance. Search for Microsoft Sentinel in the search bar and then click on the Create a new workspace. After a moment, Microsoft Sentinel will be created with the free trial activated. In the free trial tab, you can see details about the remaining for the trial. Sentinel also provides up to 10 GB of data per day for free during the trial period. Our first step in setting up Sentinel instance is to tweak a few settings. Start by connecting UEBA, which is User and Entity Behavior Analytics, which will transform your data into more informative insights about activity related to Azure, Audit, Security Events, and Sign-in Logs. We'll revisit this once we have our first data connector in place. Next, set up playbook permissions to allow automation to run in our Sentinel instance. To configure this, simply add the resource group where Sentinel resides. You can add additional resource groups as needed depending on your requirements. Finally, I recommend enabling auditing and health monitoring. This will create new tables in Sentinel logs, allowing you to query Sentinel audit and Sentinel health logs. Click on the Enable button and it will automatically create diagnostic settings and point them to your Log Analytic workspace. We can now start connecting data sources to our Sentinel instance. First, click on the Content Hub. This is our central repository for anything related to analytic rules, data connectors, workbooks, automations, and much more. It's definitely worth exploring. As an example, we'll install the Microsoft Entra ID connector. Once selected, click on Install. This will take a minute or two, and afterward, we'll be presented with an option to manage that specific content. Here, we'll see a list of what was included in the package. As you can see, we have a data connector and multiple analytic rules that can be used to query the logs and trigger incidents based on your requirements. Let's click on the data connector. At this point, 
it has been installed in the Sentinel instance, but it's still disconnected from any data source. If this window is blank, remember to refresh it, and the data connector should appear. Now, we can click on Open Connector page and select the data we want to bring over to Sentinel. In my case, I am going to select all of them and then apply changes. The data will take a while to populate into the tables, so don't worry if you still see the connector being disconnected initially. Once we have our data connector in place, we can create our first analytic rule. By default, Sentinel comes with only one pre-built active rule for advanced multi-stage attacks. To find more rules, click on a Rule Templates tab. This window will display all available analytic rules based on the data connectors you have installed. In our example, we'll mostly see Microsoft Entra ID analytic rules, since that's the only connector we installed. I am going to select an analytic rule for authentication method changed for privilege account. Each analytic rule provides useful information about its description, data sources, the custom query language, or KQL in short, used to query the data, rule, frequency, and much more. Make sure to read through this information first, as it will greatly help you decide whether you want to use that trigger or not. Next, click on the Create Rule button, which will take us to the deployment wizard. Here, we can see details about the analytic rule, including the rule query written in KQL. We can also test the rule with our current data to see how many incidents we may expect. In my case, this is blank. Now, we can set up query scheduling. As a general rule of thumb, I recommend leaving it as is, since the time frequency has been set up by the Microsoft team. One thing I recommend changing here is setting up alert grouping. This will greatly reduce the number of incidents in your Sentinel instance by combining similar incidents into one, instead of flooding your queue. Once we are happy with how the analytic rule looks, we can go to Review and Create and then save it. After a short moment, it will populate into active rules and start querying the underlying data. Let's quickly touch on UEBA in the settings. Once we have Microsoft Entra ID data connector, we'll see a new option to add this as behavior analytic source. All we need to do is to select it and click Apply. Later on, you can also add Azure Activity and Security events to the equation. Our last step is to deploy workbooks, which will help to visualize the data and make more informed decisions. Sentinel comes with pre-built templates based on the data connectors we have in place. In our example, you can see only two templates based on the Entra ID connector we installed in previous steps. Using the same resource, we can find hundreds of useful workbooks suited for all kinds of environments. Let's search for a specific one that I have in mind, which is Sentinel Optimization. Once found, simply click on the Install button. This will add the workbook to your templates. From there, you can save it you will see a green indicator once the workbook is saved and it will be accessible from My Workbooks tab. To open it, simply click on View Saved Workbook. You can now see your Sentinel information in depth, which is definitely worth exploring. I highly recommend looking through the Content Hub to find the data you need before trying to create something from scratch. Congratulations! You are a step closer to becoming a Microsoft Ninja. Happy hunting!